Hey, Mike Levine here, and uh, today I got a new video for you. I'm gonna cover the Big Smith denim bib uh, overall. Um, so just real quickly about myself before we get started. I'm the U.S. representative for Aurora. In, um, we're a Vietnamese apparel manufacturer. We have 22 sewing factories in Vietnam, two industrial laundries. We have our own knitting and weaving facilities in Vietnam. And uh, we're always looking for new customers. So if something that you manufacture, you're interested in producing in Vietnam or something that I show you piques some interest, please reach out to me and uh, we can talk about getting you started within our company. Now, back to the reason why uh, we're reviewing the bib today. So I, the bib, denim bib is something that we've been manufacturing for the last 10 years in, in our company and we do multiple brands um, and uh, I it, you don't really see them out in the market but the quantity that we manufacture that's coming into the United States is still very high so they're going somewhere they're mostly being used for workwear and uh, so people who work in farms people who work um, that want to protect themselves it seems like this is the way to go you don't have to wear a belt with them because they strap over your shoulder, so I guess they're a little bit more comfortable. But the actual reason why uh, the bib was, or the overall, was invented in the first place, it seems from my research, uh, the best I could find out was that it started in the 1750s. It was by the British Army, and they used it to wear on top of their uh, formal uniforms to kind of protect them, I guess, from getting dirty. Uh, later on in the 1890s, when Levi Strauss Company was already uh, roll, starting to get rolling uh, with the five pocket denims, they also started producing the over, overall as well. And uh, they're the ones who, as far as I could tell, were the first ones to really start mass producing it. 1921, Lee Jeans actually patented a bib version and it seemed like that's when it got the styling got more formalized and um, so anyways uh, that's the bib that we seem to be wearing today anyways let's get right into looking at the bib that we make what's some of the common features of them because um, I know one of the most important things is that it has a lot of pockets and uh, we'll get into the construction and everything like that so we'll switch cameras so I can show you the product and uh, just stick around it could be a good one okay so kind of a complicated garment but not really a lot to cover um, one of the biggest key components I would say of this garment in particular because it's workwear is going to be the triple needle stitching and, um, and there it's all over here you can see down the side seam the end seam um, and also going up the center back uh, which these are all felt seams. If you don't know what a felt seam is, uh, it's probably the strongest seam we can make uh, in sewing a garment. And basically what we're doing is we're forcing the, the lower uh, denim layer to go through a folder which cups it like this. And then the upper layer which goes through and hooks in there. And then we're stitching right through the center of it. So it's really locked in. You got three rows of stitching. So that's preventing that seam from ever coming open. And um, it's also really, um, if the, the folder set correctly and everything, and usually that it works best on a straight seam like this, not with a, the curve, which you get into lower down in the seat. But if that seems straight and you control the amount of fabric that's going through that folder, um, that's curling under, your measurements actually come out more protected than if you were say use a machine like an overlock or a five thread surging machine which is trimming the edge off and you always have variation there so anyways we have um, the shoulder straps here which they have their own uh, facing so they're uh, covered which is nice <laughs> also double needle stitching all over them um, you have the pouch pocket here with pen pocket snap closure on pocket openings um, 
just pretty standard on this garment is uh, just lots of pockets here we have also the coin pocket in the waist and there's a curtain here or covering facing on the inside for the inside waistband and this is just where the top and bottom meet that are joined together and it's covered there so there's nothing uh, exposed right you have these slant pockets but you actually have a zipper opening here but no contrast stitching so it's really not pronounced but the way you're going to get in and out of the garment is of course because the button openings on the, along the side seam. The back also number of pockets you have the patch pockets large back pockets patch pockets on the back you have your hammer loop you have a carpenter pockets on both sides this garment is just full of work and uh, as you can see uh, it's immaculately done regular just single needle hem and that's all just according to the customer specifications y'all can do it any way you like and but that's basically the garment a lot of work in them a lot to be careful with and like I said we've been doing it for a number of years and we're really good at it so anyways, let's try it on and see what it looks like. So uh, hang in there. I'm almost finished. All right, so the garment has got a 32-inch inseam, which is a little long on me. So I'm not going to really show you the bottom of it. But we'll put it on. I'm a 33-inch waist garment, so this is a 34. So it should fit me. And um, there you go. Very simple to get it on. You just have to snap your fingers. And uh, there it is. And uh, as you can see why it got its name basically uh it's just going to cover everything up and you're fairly well protected you got lots of pockets you can actually show up to work in street clothes throw this on on top work a whole day then take this off your clothes are clean you didn't get them dirty you had lots of pockets during the day um, to work with and then you just go home and i think that's initially what was the motivation behind designing a garment like this but um, now it's become more even fashion and you see it out in the street uh, in everyday wear if you like my video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up give me some comments below I'm always looking for suggestions on new ideas for new videos uh, if there's a piece of clothing that you'd like me to look at let me know and I, I look forward to seeing you in future videos and in the in the meantime, continue to dress smart. Take care.